Maya from the Green Free Library and today I'm here with a short video to demonstrate a penguin craft. Winterfest in Wellsboro was held on the weekend of February 12th and if you came into the library that weekend you received one of our winter craft bags and one of the activities in the bag was a cotton ball penguin craft. If you didn't get a chance to come to the library, you just need a few supplies to make one of your own. And if you go to greenfreelibrary.org under the information tab and program activities, you'll find a template to use. So let's get started. Inside your Winterfest craft bag is a Ziploc bag containing instructions and all the parts you'll need to complete the craft. You need the penguin body, which is made from black cardstock, a beak, and two feet from orange cardstock, some cotton batting or balls, and two Google eyes. Now it's just a matter of gluing everything together. So glue your feet on first. And you can use regular glue or I have a glue stick today. So we'll put the feet on first. Glue them like that. Then we'll put on the cotton batting right here. And you might have to arrange that. Put your glue on your penguin and the cotton batting is the white part that you see on the penguin. So kind of put that on there and push it around, adjust it how you want. And next we need to put on the Google Eyes, if I can pick them up here. So put some glue on your Google Eyes and put that on top of the batting like that and there we go and then glue on your nose And actually, I think, especially for the eyes, that regular glue might be a little better <laughs> than uh, <clears throat> a glue stick. But there we have our penguin. Okay. Did you know that there are 18 different kinds of penguins? And penguins can't fly, though they have wings. Penguins swim. I hope you enjoyed your penguin craft and if you want to learn more about penguins come into the Green Free Library all right we have lots of fiction books and non-fiction books about them too we even have some movies <laughs> so take care and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time at Storytime bye bye <laughs>